American Legacy Network remembers the Black Aces. Major League Baseball was founded in 1869, more than 150 years ago. And since its inception, the league has brought in almost 20,000 professional players. But only 15 have reached a certain milestone. That group is known as the Black Aces. It's compiled of black pitchers who have won more than 20 games in one season. The information was always given to me that if you're, if you're a black pitcher, then there must be something special. The first black ace, James Mudcat Grant. In 1965, Mudcat was the first black pitcher to win 20 games in the American League with the Minnesota Twins. He was also the first black pitcher to win a World Series game in that league. In retirement, Grant realized he was part of a small group of baseball excellence, a group who took to the mound in a position not often filled by black players. There's only been a handful of black pitchers in Major League Baseball history. So for those who succeeded at that level to win 20 games or more in any given season, that was quite the accomplishment. Grant featured the group in a book titled The Black Aces. In it, he highlighted professional players who were able to showcase their talents in the majors. Those black aces include Vita Blue, Al Downing, Dwight Gooden, Sam Jones, Don Newcomb, Mike Norris, J.R. Richard, Earl Wilson, Dontrell Willis, David Price, and C.C. Sabathia. All-star and three-time World Series champion Dave Stewart was added to the group when he won 20 games four consecutive seasons in a row. That was from 1987 to 1990 with the Oakland Athletics. In 87, you know, I won the, I won 20. And then I looked at all of the pitchers black pitchers in general that had won 20 games. And when I saw the black pitchers that had won 20 games, um, you know, Bob Gibson um, was the guy that um, when I was a kid um, that people told me if I was going to pitch that he would be the person that I should try to be like. But the book also included nine other players from the Negro Leagues players who didn't have the opportunity to be recognized as professional players. That list includes Andrew Rube Foster, Smokey Joe Williams, Wilbur Bullet Rogan, Dick Cannonball Redding, William Foster, Chet Brewer, Hilton Lee Smith, Dave Hoskins, and Leon Day. I know you had a traveling exhibit honoring the Black Aces, so tell me a little bit about that and why the Black Aces themselves are so important to Black history and baseball history. It was important for the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum to pay tribute to those, as we like to say, crossed over the bridge. They play such an important role, not just in baseball history, but in American history, as we start to look at those African-American pioneers who made an indelible impact not only in our game, but in society. And for the Black Aces who made it to the majors, it was important to honor those from the Negro Leagues who came before them. And the first thing is you, you want to respect them and you want to honor them. And you respect them and honor them in the best way that you can possibly do that, which is be the best player that you can be. The Negro Leagues were founded in 1920, and for its players, through all of their hardships, the opportunity to pick up a bat and play the game they loved is what mattered most. And it's all based on one small, simple principle. You won't let me play with you in the major leagues, okay? I'll create a league of my own. And to be quite frank, that league that they created was as good as any league ever. The Negro Leagues would not take a back seat to any league. The only difference between the Negro Leagues and the Major Leagues at that time was money. The Black Aces are rounded out by three Hall of Famers, Bob Gibson, Ferguson Jenkins, and Satchel Paige, who played most of his career in the Negro Leagues and was given the chance to make his professional debut with the Cleveland Indians in 1948. The first name that I think of from the Negro Leagues is, is, is Satchel Paige. And um, I've always, wanted to honor them in my style of play and how I played the game and the accomplishments that I could achieve in the game, I felt would be the honor that I paid back to, to those players. Obviously, those Hall of Fame pitchers had their careers somewhat validated by the fact that they're in the Hall of Fame. 
But because they're in this special select group that Mudd had the brilliance to create, to celebrate, it makes it even special. In the first years after desegregation in the majors, teams who drafted Black pitchers often converted them into position players. Only a few of those players were allowed to continue pitching. But think about this. Right now, 7% of players in Major League Baseball are Black. That's down from nearly 20% in the 1980s. Many Black players weren't given the opportunity to play in such an essential position. Dave Stewart explains why. It wasn't a star position, but they didn't want you in decision-making positions on the field. They'd much rather have a ball hit and you chase it down um, versus being in a position where you were thinking you're in the middle of everything, you're the center of everything, nothing happens until you throw the ball. Bringing this group to light and showcasing their accomplishments and talents became Grant's mission. He wanted history to honor the contributions Blacks and the Black Aces made on America's favorite pastime. In 2007, President George W. Bush honored Grant and the rest of the Black Aces at the White House during Black History Month. He founded what's called the Black Aces. Jim Mudcat Grant understood that there would not have been a Mudcat Grant given the opportunity to be the first African-American to win 20 games in the American League or the first African-American to win a World Series game. To be the founder of the Black Aces, now that is incredible. Um, to come up with the idea to celebrate all of the 20-game winners, Black 20-game winners in the game of baseball, it's a great honor uh, to be included in it, uh, but more importantly, um, to be forward thinking, to want to celebrate his fellow Black pitchers, uh, I think was a tremendous idea on Mud's part. To watch classic Black films, documentaries, and much more, tune in today to American Legacy Network, Black History Made Every Day.